Hey there, kids. It's me, again. I'm back after four and a half months, and you're probably thinking to yourself, where have I been? Well, I'm not dead, and I've not stopped working on Rays either. Progress has been continuing, as will be evident by the trailer that went out yesterday for 0 0.3. If you haven't watched it, go watch it, and if you haven't played it, what are you waiting for? If you go to our usual website, race.no, right, that is race.no, you can play the latest version for yourself. And you can see all the new features we've implemented, like spikes and blood. Lots and lots of blood. Yeah. So th those are among the few new features we've implemented. But other than that, the reason why I haven't been posting so regularly is we haven't really had a lot of new visual progress to show. The reason for that is we have been spending the la good part of the last few months refactoring the old code base, trying to make sure that it works for... Well, we, if I start here, we've had a new team member, our team has been expanding, and I've realized that the the little prototype game that I put together back in January, in March last year, was not up to standard when it comes to, like, it, it was a mess to work with, and we desperately needed some new systems for data management and for character management and all those things, than what I had in place, which was just s things cobbled together in the Unity scripting engine that had no real structure or thought behind them but just meant to be a game that I was going to push out for within a year's time and now look here I am standing about a year later and I thought I was going to be done now but I can only look my past self in the face and say ha you wish you're not done yet but well, we've come a long way and we have recruited a few new faces along the way I'll show you this is not all my credit I will give due credit to the other members of the team who are Hua and Martin uh, so, let me let me introduce each one of us. Hua is a the only one of us who is a professional software developer. He's a he's a coder by trade, and I had the fortune of meeting him back because he organized a uh, a, a, a meetup for indie game developers in Stockholm uh, back a few years ago. And then we worked together on a game jam, and we worked together on a personal project that didn't turn out because we didn't have the commitment. And then, so he's he's our latest addition, and he's been he when he came in, he's, he's he takes he took a look at our systems, and he's and he was the one who said that we needed to have a more robust system for managing the data if we're going to make this a large scale project, and so we had to basically spend and then we had to spend a few months just remaking that. Then there's Martin, who I also had the fortune of meeting uh, last year when I was an exchange student in Norway and we both studied in the same university. He's a music technician and he has been behind the sound effects and music for the game and the videos that I've been putting out. And he has also been doing a lot of additional development on the systems as of late because that is where we have been needing to put more effort into lately as well. So a huge thanks to him. And then there's me, the bearded hillbilly from the Swedish Highlands, uh, who is I started out using Unity back in high school in 2013, I believe, and since then I've been working very much on off and making uh, basic projects like you see here, like RTS with no graphics and and uh, Tetris and breakout clones and text-based adventures. And I, I think I suffer from a lack of critical self. Um, fuck you, Windows. I I think I suffer from a, a critical lack of self-esteem in that I have a hard time finishing the the medium-sized or larger projects that I start. It's always come to the fact, it always comes down to that I I don't, I, do, I postpone them indefinitely because I find something else that I rather want to do uh, when I realize how much time it's actually going to take. And so race, when I, when I started race last February, I was like, this is going to be the first project that I'm going to make that's actually, I'm actually going to finish it, I'm going to release it on Steam, and it's going to be, woo, uh, we're going to make boatloads of money, and yeah, we'll see, we'll see about the money part, but we're going to, f my goal is to finish it at least, will it be this year or next year, we'll see, hopefully we won't have too much time, now that we've, we're done with the, I mean, if, if you look at our, I'm saying that I've we've been inactive for the last few months, but if you look at our repository and you look at our commit activity, you can see that we have been pretty active 
for the last since September with regularly posting 10 to 30 commits every week between the three of us. So I don't think we've been inactive in any way. The, the thing is, we've just been doing system stuff and we haven't been doing anything tangible really as of late, which is why, well, part, for one thing, motivation hasn't is that or not <laughs> hasn't been very high uh i haven't had a lot of things to show but rest assured that we have been doing a lot of work and now that the systems development phase is almost at an end we can begin doing content like characters and sprites and audio and music and more levels and actually put together more stuff that we can show off that will be interesting to watch so uh, I, th I think also the fact that i may have suffered a little bit from lacking self-esteem when putting this video these videos up I so as, as from now on I'm gonna do my best to post one video every week or at least every other week as there are new stuff coming to, sh to show that, that we'll be that we'll be able to show off and I have as as where do we take take things from here I have a few other ideas that I would like to try out with them um, I realized that if I'm ever gonna go grow my YouTube channel in any sort of manner, I'm going to have to need to offer some kind of value to someone. And as I'm a game developer myself, I th I figured I, I have a few interesting side projects that I would like to try my hands out on in Unity and in game development in general. And I might do some tutorial videos for those. And the benefit I get from that is that then I can post it on the Unity forums and other game dev forums and actually contribute with something that is to that is of help to someone and not just shameless self-promotion for my product as of uh, well there isn't that much else to say go to race.no to play the game and if you haven't already you know that you can check out we have a public trail trailer board where you can see what we're doing currently like how much time we're dedicating each week which issues we are aware of that we're working on right now and uh, we try to be as transparent as possible so if you haven't already, check it out, and if, if we ever get one of these hiatuses again, you can check in here to see whether we're actually developing or not. We probably will, we will likely build because I am hellbent that I'm going to finish this project this time around. No more failures. This So, uh, aside from that, I don't know. If, I, I'd very much like to hear from you if you would use the YouTube comments or... Do you, do you think that the YouTube comments is enough? Like, is that enough space for <laughs> for you to get get your voice heard? I don't know. I've I've toyed with the idea a little bit of making something like a community Discord where I can engage, or like we as a studio can the, all three of us can engage with the viewers and the we're sort sort of like an engagement that goes both ways because I know uh, as a game developer I have a lot of. Th lessons to share and I know a lot of you guys personally you're your you're game developers as well and I know you have lessons to share maybe we could put together something that's not specifically for Rays but more like game development oriented where we can post talk about what we're working on currently and interesting topics and give each other helps and, to, and feedback I don't know it might it might be a fun idea if if I get enough people on board, I will definitely start something like that, some kind of discussion forum. So if you're interested, let me know. Let me know and we can definitely make something out of it. But I think that's all for now. I'm not going to drag out this video too long. Because I know I have more important things to do with race. And I will definitely post again this weekend at the earliest. And show if, if we have done it, if we have made any significant progress, I will show it off. But otherwise, I will definitely just sit down and talk about where we'll take things from here, what's in our long term plan, uh, like what, what, what features we're going to work on next, and how, what are the bigger things that we face in the, in the future of the development behind Race. But for now, check out the trailer, check out the game, and let us know if you find any bugs, because God knows there will be bugs. I've already discovered a few myself. And with that said, this is me signing off, and I will see you this weekend. Goodbye for now.